We had a singer to come here one time, and she was professional. She, she performed, and uh, I forget her name. <laughs> Jessica, Dreedy, fine young lady. I mean, I, and, but she performed and she bombed real bad and ended up arguing with the people because the, uh, she's, the people wouldn't get with her and. She kept forgetting the lyrics of her, her songs and starting over. This is professional. And you know what we found out afterwards? Her problem was she was on a fast for Ramadan. She was fasting to a false god. I am so glad. I am so glad that at our church, you can't be fasting to a false god and make us shout and run around. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I am so glad that even with the saints not knowing it, that's the Holy Ghost. Discernment said, we don't know what's wrong, but something is wrong. Now in the average church, they would still be running because we have no discernment and, in, and to a lot of preachers, things like this don't matter. They have no thoughts on it one way or the other. But here, it matters. This, let me tell you, this is where we come to worship. This is where we come to get healed, get delivered, get set free. This is where we come to be strengthened. This is where we bury our dead. This is where uh, we... Uh, uh, we get married. This is where we worship. Praise the Lord. And and in our house of worship that we paid for. That we paid for. Paid off. Our house of worship that we keep clean. We keep the yards clean. We keep the pews clean. We keep the floors clean. We keep it clean. This is why we worship. Well, we ain't going to do all of that and then let somebody who is uh, in perversion and in wickedness and we know it come and desecrate the house of God. That, would, that, would, that wouldn't make any sense. So I feel that they had a plan and the plan was foiled. And I believe whoever was in on inviting them was in on the plan too. Say amen. 